Hey everyone, welcome to Cricut Time. If you like this video, subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. Today I'm going to show you how to take a normal picture and turn it into an SVG that you can use with your Cricut or Silhouette. In order for your Cricut to cut out an image, it needs to be turned into either an SVG or PNG file. To do this, let's get started in Google. Just type in SVG converter and you'll see there are tons of options out there. Today we are going to use picksvg.com. This site is super easy to use. Just click on Upload Picture and choose the picture you want to use. Scroll down and you can see a preview of what your SVG will look like. You can choose Great Detail or Strong. Strong gets the finer lines and details and it would be good if you're trying to convert a picture of a person. You can also choose the overall look of your SVG in the Filters menu. The first few options are Invert and I'll show you a few different ones. Each one has more or less detail than the next. You can also pick the ready options. For today, I will go with invert number three. Once you are happy with the one you like, just click download SVG. Now you can just grab the file from your download folder and pull it onto your desktop where it's quick and easy to grab. Next, let's go into Cricut Design Space and upload it. For full instructions on how to upload an image into Design Space, you can check out this other video in the link above. I like the overall look of this design. I just don't like this little circle in the frame. This is easy to remove though. Just click ungroup in the top corner and that will separate each line into its own layer. Then you can just click on the parts that you don't want and press delete on your keyboard. Once you're happy with your design, highlight it all and click weld at the bottom. Now your design is ready to cut and use. I hope you liked this video and that you can make your own SVGs in the future. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. 